Hey everyone, it's certainly been a while since I've produced a housing update video for Prince George and I'm hoping to set time aside again and get these out to you regularly. All right, I'm Tim Hyam with Remax Core Realty here in Prince George, BC and I make content about Prince George and real estate. If you want to chat about your own real estate needs or future planning, uh, give me a call or text at the number below. I'd love to chat with you. If you find value in these videos, please give it a like and subscribe and be sure to click the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any upcoming content. I just want to point out that these statistics we're looking at are for detached houses within the city limits of Prince George and they're from the BC Northern Real Estate Board. All right, so before jumping into the housing update, quick recap on what's happening over the past year-ish. Uh, we've seen interest rates rise and rise and rise. Uh, that has definitely had a cooling effect on the market. Uh, we did see a bump in activity in the spring after the Bank of Canada, Canada <laughs> held the rate in March, but they started raising it again in July, pouring more cold water on the fire. This last Bank of Canada meeting in October resulted in them holding the rate. And speculation is that this is likely the top and many reports suggest that we should start seeing a decline in interest rates by the second quarter of 2024. All right, let's get to it. Sales. We had 54 in October compared to 61 last year. That's a decline of 11.5%. Active listings, we had 221. That's up from 194 last year, an increase of 13.9%. New listings, we had 86 versus 79, an increase of 8.9%. Average days on market were at 56 compared to 46 last year. That's up 21.7%. Supply is sitting at 3.8 months compared to 2.6 last year, up a significant 46.2%. For percent of original price, we're looking at 94.6 compared to 94.9% last year, down 0.3%. And average price per square foot was at $235 versus 218 last year. That's an increase of 7.8%. Average sales price sitting currently at $495,000 compared to $489K last year. That is a rise of a meager 1.1%. So what's all this mean for you in reality in today's market? Buyers, you're seeing a time of increased housing inventory and selection is certainly better than we've seen in the past few, year, few years. Uh, the trade-off, of course, is the interest rate you're going to pay on that mortgage. Not great. Having said that, even though average sales price reports as an increase, the quality of home for the price has increased massively over the past year. So you're getting a much better or larger home for the same price right now. Rumor is that fixed rate mortgages may also be starting to decline right now. So check in with your local mortgage professional to keep up to date on that side of things. Uh, sellers, you're having a tougher time right now and it had to come around at some point, right? Uh, there's a lot of competition at any price point right now. So going the extra mile in your repairs and preparations for bringing your house to the market is going to be paramount in standing out amongst the crowd. Uh, probably the largest difficulty for sellers right now is coming to terms with what a good price, a good list price is today compared to what it might have been 18 months ago. Those trying to hold on to the past seem to be chasing the market with price reductions, but unfortunately those are often too little too late to get the job done. Well, that's it for me guys. Thank you so much for watching. I certainly appreciate it. And until next time, take care.